In this exercise, we're going to learn how to play the first piece by Marais. But before we jump into it, I want to talk to you a little bit about tuning. Obviously, if you've gotten this far, you've been able to tune your viol. But the easiest way in 2017, or if this application goes on further in the future, is to use an electronic tuner. Um, there's lots of them on the market, as I said. It's nice to get one that has the metronome also. Um, Nowadays, we tune either to 440, which is modern orchestral pitch, or we tune to 415, which is exactly one half step lower than modern orchestral pitch. In fact, the viol was never really tuned at either of these pitches, but we use them because of keyboard instruments that we play with that can't really tune to the, for instance, the French pitch in the 17th century, some, uh, somewhere between 405 and 407 hertz. But we use the standard 415 or 440. Whatever you buy, you can use the uh, electronic tuner to tune. Now in this piece, we're going to uh, use all the notes that we've learned from the exercises and the scales that we played before. I noticed that the printer that printed the music out did not use the French system of one dot for the first string, two dots for the second string, three dots for the third string that I talked about before. We use Roman numerals. It's as clear, one numeral, Roman numeral, two, three, etc. But in actual practice, when you get music by Marais or Couperin or Fork, not Couperin, but Forqueret or K. de Bellois, you will find the point system. So you will know what's it about. So when you play a new piece, what's really important is to start only without the bow and plucking. When we pluck, a little technique is you put your middle finger or your third finger against the fingerboard up here at the very top where the fingerboard tip is, uh, is at the end of the fingerboard. Then we can pluck easily with a thumb. The thumb has a nicer sound than the first finger. This is standard lute or guitar technique. So, what we do is look at the music, which you'll see when you close the application, and uh, close the application, close the, the window, sorry, and you'll see the first note is a G, and we'll figure out where that is without rhythm, then we'll figure out the second note where it is, F sharp, and we'll figure out the third note, G, B, C, D, G, G. All of that is written out with the fingering. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the Roman numeral in this case, which will tell you which string it's on. Like the previous exercise with the scales, all the values are half notes except the very last note, which is a whole note. So to start, we're going to put the metronome on something very low. You can start even at 40. I'm going to put my metronome on 55 with four beats to the measure with a pink one, which I really like, as I said before. Pink shows that it's really the first beat, so you have the visual and the sound aspect. Are you ready? I'll shout out the notes as we're going. G, F sharp. G, B, C, D, G, 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 F sharp, G, A, O, T, D, E, F sharp, that this piece uses the technique of moving the vial back and forth very much. So make sure you do that. You're going to have a hard time playing, for instance, this low G, B, G string. You see, moving my leg without pushing the vial out a little bit. Push it out with your thumb, pull it back with your fingers, as Rousseau said in the 17th century. As usual, when you practice this piece, make sure your fingers are round. Make sure that your bow is parallel to the bridge. Make sure you close your wrist when you push. 
you open your wrist when you pull, and that you play the piece with the metronome slowly. Better to play slowly and play each note in time than to have to stop and go over and over and over again. Start at the slowest pace with which you're comfortable and little by little speed up. The ideal tempo of this piece will be 70 beats per minute, but do not start. Do not start at 70 beats per minute. Start at maybe 35 beats per minute and go little by little faster. This will be the end of this whole first part of the beginning method. Very soon I will make the rest of the being on the vial to get you up to a level where people can play, where you can play saint Colomb and Marais proficiently. So I hope you enjoyed this method. If you like this method, please go to the More page and share this on Facebook or Twitter. Thank you very much for watching this and have a great time with the most noble of instruments.